nilikana na ile situation ilikuanga ilikuanga ni ngoli jukani kitika moja my friend tulikuwa tunatumia watu kaa sita kila mwaka sikuwa si na kosa na sikosi kuzika vijana kati ya tisa mpaka moja. Nilienda some some trainings eh, of which nikakuwa a qualified educator nimekuwa tumia hiyo masomo kwa ground na nadhani at least hata hizo overdose zika reduce grow the treatment for hep C that time was very very expensive so between 2011 after the, the MDM came in Kenya testing started happening as part of the program you test for hepatitis B you test for hepatitis B and C we are also providing the needle and syringe program at the DIC also where the PWIDs can come pick their needles and can also drop their used needles and syringes. So when medical assisted therapy was piloted in Kenya in 2014, they were the ones who were referring people who use drugs to us. We realized working in isolation, putting harm reduction in a basket on its own will never end stigma. So it's about time we reintegrate the community of people who use drugs back to the mainstream healthcare. In 2013, there were approximately 49,000 people who inject drugs that were directly in harm's way. Despite the significant increase in the number of people who use drugs in Kenya and the rise of injecting practices, there were no programs targeting the health needs of people who use drugs. Most of the programs that were there were more abstinence-based, but they were not addressing the issue of hepatitis and uh, generally providing comprehensive service package for people who inject drugs. Increasing drug use exacerbated infections like HIV and viral hepatitis, especially among people who inject drugs. Kuligana na ile situation ilikuanga, ilikuanga ni ngoli. Jukani kitika moja my friend tulikuwa tunatumia watu kaa sita sasa ikawa sasa hata magojwa ni mingi kila mwaka sikuwa si na kosa na sikosi kuzika vijana kati ya tisa mpaka moja. kila mwaka kwa sababu ya magonjwa ya HIV na hepatitis B na C confronted with these urgent public health issues medicines du monde or MDM a French non-government organization operating in more than 60 countries worldwide started its harm reduction program in Kenya in 2013. The program started with an exploratory mission in 2011. So between 2011, after the, the MDM came in Kenya, testing started happening as part of the program. You test for hepatitis B, you test for hepatitis B and C. So what happened is now we have a group of people who are positive who are like, I think, that 80 number. So, where do you take them? This is where the discussion started now. MDM partnered with international partners to advocate for pharmaceuticals to reduce the cost of drugs. Starting from the, that kind of advocacy, starting from um, talking about uh, treatment, providing treatment for Hep C for those populations. We are happy that uh, with all this collaboration, we've been able to talk to the, uh, the pharma industry and we've been able to uh, have uh, advocacy on the price reductions, which is really a game changer because what we thought would uh, benefit a thousand clients can now benefit about three, uh, six thousand clients. MDM's approach is to support people who use drugs through a comprehensive harm reduction program to enable their access to health services and reduce the transmission of HIV and hepatitis, running one drop-in centre and working in six dens through outreach services. The approach has been a drop-in centre with all comprehensive services for harm reduction, and this includes counselling and psychosocial support, food and nutrition, hygiene support, uh, provision of medical services, especially the basic health care and referral for other advanced care. I see many ideas, kama me sana sana. Do you know that I have a TB? I have a TB. 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 I have a TB
na wakanipeleka mpaka wasiama pia educator huku MDM is one of the three civil society organizations in Nairobi that have set up drop-in centers and provide harm reduction services. So when medical assisted therapy was piloted in Kenya in 2014, they were the ones who were referring people who use drugs to us. They prepare the clients for medical assisted therapy and they refer them. They literally provide uh, an escort and bring them to the clinic and then we induct them and start the journey of medical assisted therapy. To the count, I think that was an eye opener. They were able to get uh, support in terms of even the services that are not within the public facility. So I think it was a plus. And by the time we were closing our project and handing it over to SAPTA last year, December, we had reached about 1,700 PWIDs with comprehensive harm reduction services over the years. MDM believes in using a peer approach to deliver harm reduction services. This helps to increase buy-in, enhance behavior change, and also work with them as role models. When MDM ilikuja, ilikuwa na jibwenga, yani kujinject. Venye nilijinject, ikafika 2015, ikaenda MDM, wakandi enroll, wakandi peleka mat, madari. Saa venye ulinichukua, nilienda some trainings of which nikakuwa a qualified educator tunaenda training za overdose tunaenda training za kila kitu za injection za kukua unaweza saidia mwanzako aje akiwa mgonjwa wakati MDM imeisha tumekuwa tukitumia hiyo masomo kwa ground na nadhani at least hata hizo ma overdose zika reduce grow the covid-19 pandemic made people who use and inject drugs even more vulnerable their living conditions and the stigma and social marginalization expose them to violence and even harsher discrimination. MDM supported health facilities with PPEs and protection material, ensuring the access to health services. This, combined with a strong support in nutrition and hygiene, minimized the risks and vulnerability of people who use drugs during the pandemic. MDM has uh, helped us mitigate against the COVID-19 pandemic by providing us bottles for us to pre-pack methadone because there are some places where we've had to take the pre-packed methadone and also in preparation for the mobile van dispensing, they have given us a huge consignment. Together it sanitizes the whole works for, you know, responding to COVID-19. They are also providing the fuel cost, they're covering the fuel costs uh, for this mobile van and uh, we are very happy that uh, even when they are doing close out they are able to think about the sustainability plan of our programs in Kenya. Kenya now appears as one of the champions of harm reduction in the continent, steadily upscaling its harm reduction services over the last three to five years. But even with the upscaling, the healthcare systems had been addressing drug-related problems in ways that left significant gaps. And with this in mind, MDM played a key role in the integration of harm reduction services into public health facilities. We realized working in isolation, putting harm reduction in a basket on its own will never end stigma. So it's about time we reintegrate the community of people who use drugs back to the mainstream healthcare. Looking at the numbers in Nairobi County, we had over 6,000 uh, clients who are into harm reduction services, but they were not getting services in our public facilities. In 2019, we sat together with the MDM team, looked at the successes that they already had within their drop-in centers, and recognized the need to have um, health services um, given to the drug users, even within where they were staying. We chose to start with Westlands Health Center, so they were able to do a study that was actually shared at all levels at count, with the County Health Management Committee, with the Facility Health, Committee, Health Management Committee and the community, and we noted the gap. And one of the biggest gap was that uh, the healthcare care workers didn't really know how to handle the clients. We had two groups of trainings from MDM. Uh, for the healthcare workers, we had a one-week training 
on uh, harm reduction services, followed by a three-week cascade at the facility in July, so that we finally started the pilot in August of 2019. They provided uh, us with a nurse, counselor who would come at the facility, was stationed at the facility. They also provided a peer educators who knew these people and would advise them to come for medical services at the facility. Wakondo wetu wanapo kuja wakitoka huko inje, wao kuja straight mpaka hapa pali penye niko, wanaka mali hapa, kama niko hapa, tunaendelea na uh, maswali ambaye na muelezea, kama ni mtu ambaye ni niu, huwa nachukua file, nachukua file, naanza kumunjasia file yake, ili akaweze kuonekana na daktari. The impact that we felt because of this particular aggression and the partnership with MDM is almost 90% that there is an improvement in, uh, in terms of work, in terms of uh, people who are accessing services. We've enrolled uh, about 255 clients, and these clients access all services within this particular facility. After the successful pilot this year, we agreed to expand the services, and after that we scaled up to two additional facilities within Starehe, in Casino and Lagos, and we have had very good success. MDM successfully implemented their projects, producing life-changing results. And the impact has been enormous and felt from government, civil society, and the communities. MDM has really uh, supported and strengthened the community of people who use drugs uh, under Ken Pud to be able to raise their voices in international level and also national level. One is by capacity building, they were able to train us on harm reduction. They were able to train us on uh, uh, reviewing of policies. They were able to train us on high level advocacy. And the, the most important one was to be able to air our issues to the highest level uh, of decision making in this country. There are treatments that are being procured for the people who are hepatitis C positive. That's a big success. The other success is we have national guidelines for hepatitis, which MDM supported and was involved with, together with NASCOP, to develop. We also realized that uh, we needed to convert that guideline into an implementation uh, framework. And uh, through the support of MDM and uh, collaboration with other international partners, we were able to come up with an implementation guide for viral hepatitis that is supposed to be ahead uh, and guide the implementation of uh, hepatitis C uh, treatment interventions at the community level. Today, all harm reduction programs, harm reduction, um, hepatitis C and even hepatitis B, testing and vaccination for B happens as part of the program, as a routine program which was not happening before. We have been involved with them in the development of NACADA strategic plan for the next three years, that's a big one. We've been involved, actually in MDM was um, a, a, a very close partner with the NACADA in the development of the Kenyan policy on drugs, which is ongoing, it's not complete. And what we are trying to do, we were trying to do, and we succeeded, was bring in the component of harm reduction, because Kenya is coming from an abstinence way of thinking. The other major milestone that we've made as MDM is providing a pilot of hepatitis C treatment by successfully treating 120 patients. This is a big milestone that has also helped influence the next treatment project from the government that is targeting about a thousand patients. In essence, in places like Nairobi, MDM's interventions have been a lifeline to care and treatment of people who inject drugs. It is clear that the number of those affected by injecting drugs would have been far much higher without these interventions. And there are hundreds of people who are alive today because of MDM's interventions.